Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Brown Cali, doing a slightly different reaction video for you guys today. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like my content. I watch Hang With Cherokee all the time on this YouTube and I saw a video she put out about her being exposed by an 18 year old or something, something like that. I had no clue what she was talking about. So of course I watched the video and I saw that she mentioned the clout chasers. So I know of them, but I don't really follow them or watch their videos. So it took me a minute to go and find, uh, I guess I seen the second video. I, I never did see the first video that her daughter had left in the comment section. Um, I seen the reaction the Kyle Chase has made to Hanging with Cherokee, stating that the daughter came in their comments, that they did not um, seek the young lady out. And they read the comments, and you could see the comments that she left. Here's my thing about it. Um, I have adult children, so I know, you know, when kids get to a certain age, they, you know, the old folks, they get to smelling themselves. But what I could not understand is to what did her daughter want to gain out of this whole situation? Cherokee stated that her daughter was upset because she had kicked her out. They had gotten to a disagreement. She kicked her out and she was not homeless per se, but she was living with her father. Um, I also saw the reaction video her daughter Sierra made. And when Cherokee was talking, I, I was like, okay, you know, that's natural mothers daughters mothers and their children you know you may bump heads at times and stuff in heated arguments you may say things you regret and <clears throat> you act accordingly so i i've kicked my kids out they never went anywhere they was gone for maybe 15 minutes my oldest son because he coming in past curfew and you know it was one of those situations where if you don't like my rules then you don't have to be here what I couldn't understand is why her daughter felt that her going on these ladies' channel was the right thing to do. I understand. Um, I, I can only assume, I should say, uh, that her mother, the Cherokee, does not care for these women. And so that was her way of retaliating. Like, yeah, I'm going I'm to get under her skin because... You know, I'm for whatever her reason was, because like I stated, I watched her reaction to Cherokee's video that she put out. What I did not like was the fact that Sierra sat up there and said all these horrible negative things about her mother to these complete strangers and to the public. The whole thing about our mother not bathing, the whole, and the whole little petty thing about asking for five dollars and and all that type of stuff. She was going in talking about it's not the mama's money, it's the daddy's money, but they're still legally married, and and you know I was like, Sierra crossed the line. She really did. She should have stayed in her place. I, you know, we would say a child's place because her, her behavior was very childish and immature. And you expect that from a teenager because she's legally 18, but her mindset is, is very childish. You can see that because you felt like this is what you should do to your mother. What I also had a problem with was why the father didn't step in and, and stop that situation. I didn't understand that because in her reaction video, you could hear him saying that me and your mother raised you, but 
he didn't act like he was going in to see like okay what are you doing don't make another video don't make your special mama don't don't disrespect your mama like that because i have three children's fathers the last two were from my husband so i had two children prior to being married from two different men and i can't believe that any of the three fathers would just allow my kids to disrespect them and not reach out and touch them like i didn't, I didn't understand why he didn't step in and tell her don't do that to your mother stop it you're wrong don't don't do this it's just not what you do even if you have a disagreement with her you don't do this to her you put all the business out there and I believe Cherokee says she's daddy's girl because she she was defending him. She was telling mama's stuff that she shouldn't have been telling to the public. We should not know she didn't slept with this person or that person. It's nobody's business. But as for Cherokee, I would have put foot to ass. I would have got knee deep in her ass because you have lost your mind. There's no way you could be walking around here. You have stepped into a whole nother level of disrespect. That's the type of level get your teeth knocked out, have me going to jail for beating your ass. And what I felt the clout chaser should have done was said, hey, she came on our channel. We didn't seek her out. This is an comic thing and left it alone. To go back and make a video and state everything that a lot of people hadn't even saw it. Uh, Cause like I said, I don't follow them. I don't watch their stuff. And not until she uh, Cherokee was bringing it up, I went to look for her, like, what is she talking about? But for them to show that and read it and everything, they're two fucked up individuals. Because both of them are mothers and you thought that was the right thing to do. What they should have did was tell Sierra, you are wrong. This is inappropriate. Don't bring this to my channel and deleted it. But they messy as fuck. So they just decided, oh, we're going to take this and run with it. You reap what you sow. And the fact that these ladies had no problem with spilling that tea again because Clearly, people had already stated that they saw it, the comment, and made videos on it. It's one thing to defend yourself, but it's another thing to go to that le length and depth and do all that. That was just doing too damn much. J just too damn much. What is everybody, like, all this for views? This is people's lives. That's a mother and daughter relationship that's clearly ruined at this point. Now... I don't know what type of daughter felt that was the right thing to do. Clearly a spoiled brat. Clearly your, it's nothing your mama can do that's good in your eyes because you justified everything that you said and did, which was completely outrageous. It was so ridiculous. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, I would have got my, me and my sisters, my cousins, everybody would have held your ass down and whooped your ass like a little kid. Because you, your, you, your behavior is so damn childish. You need your ass whooped for that. The things you said about your mama online. You need your ass whooped for that. Now I. And the thing that also bothered me was like. You know your mama don't even have a car. She have to catch the bus just to go buy you some food to eat. And you steady complain about everything. As if you're not capable. Of cooking for yourself doing stuff for yourself like like you're a little baby i don't i didn't get the point of that like you're willing to just completely have your mama just like have cut you off have nothing to do with you because you're mad it's obvious that something happened in the cherokee's marriage where the parents separated. The, her and her husband separated. They live in two different households. People could only assume that more likely he cheated. 
just like she stated because that's usually what type of thing happened to make people separate and the fact that she kept making a difference was this is my father's money and it was the child support but if you was given the child if you was given the money even if it was child support if you was given the money to buy what you want for christmas shows still how ungrateful you are because you needed to clarify as if to say well that was not from her that was from my dad but if your daddy owed her the money for taking care of you then it was still her money i have a problem with people trying to like your mama is getting disability she's disabled she can't even go work so she's doing youtube some supplement to help with her income because she's not able to physically go and stand on her feet all day and do things like other people do to make ends meet and you wanted her to give your daddy some money buy some tools and stuff like he's not an able-bodied man i don't know and i don't know why the sisters them somebody should have got into her ass for real she she that was so uncalled for and you did all this so you could start your own channel or i don't get it i don't play them type of games i've never played them type of games and in life real life children and parents have arguments they get into it but you never go to the point of trying to publicly humiliate your mother because of your actions and the way she reacted to them that's my two cents if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below if you know what i'm talking about and until the next one peace